The Transformers, issue number three in a four-issue limited series, More Than Meets the Eye. Guest starring, Spider-Man. Somewhere over Oregon, three jet fighters soar. Not an odd sight, but there's more than meets the eye. These jets are alive. Meet Sparkplug Witwicky, a simple, hardworking man, a mechanic with his own service station. Somehow he's become a prisoner of war. Let me out of here, you stupid machine! A foolish request! Our analysis of your species finds that if I were to release you at this height, your frail form couldn't possibly survive. We need you for our purposes whole. If conversing with a living alien jet fighter didn't induce symptoms of an advanced future shock in Sparkplug, perhaps seeing the awesome Decepticon Fortress, or while still inside him, witnessing Starscream's amazing transformation will. Machines have been slaves on this backward world long enough. Today the roles are rightly reversed. Oh, you'll never get away with this. I'm an American citizen. But Sparkplug's protest go unnoticed as Skywarp and Thundercracker transform and land. A tape player, three cassette tapes, and a Walther P-38 fly forth from the towering twin titans. And astonishingly, they enlarge hundreds of times over and change into Soundwave, Megatron, Frenzy, and Ravage. Finally, Buzzsaw and a Laserbeak, the slower flying Decepticons arrive. As incredible as it may seem, the humans hold the key to our survival on this repulsive world. Why don't you guys pick on someone your own size? Fortunately, my superior design enabled me to easily wrest this lowly carbon-based creature from our enemy's grasp. You perform your duty well, Star Scream. I do whatever must be done, Great Megatron. Indeed, Starscream, by presenting yourself as the Decepticon most worthy to lead us. But you overestimate your worth, as well as your comrade's gullibility. Shall we attend to the task at hand, Great Megatron? W what do you want from me? Let's begin at once. I weary of the human's prattling and your sarcasm, Starscream. As long as I wield the power of my fusion cannon, my position of command is assured, but my patience is not unlimited. I haven't remained in power for countless millennia by surrounding myself with assassins. Watch your step, Starscream. The day may soon come where your services are no longer required. We are not of your world. No kidding. Silence. Listen closely. Just as you depend on oxygen and food for survival, we require fuel. My spies have ascertained that you possess the technical facility to convert your world's primitive hydrocarbon fuels into the life-sustaining fuel we need. You will provide us with that fuel. It's beginning to make sense. Despite their advanced science, they can't comprehend Earth's primitive technology. Just look at this place. It's constructed from the Harrison nuclear power plant. They had possibly Earth's mightiest fuel source in their hands, and they built this weird fortress. They're like modern men trying to hack it back in the caveman days. And these guys ain't any friendlier than my jail keepers when I was a prisoner of war in Korea. Well... If that's the case, my name's William Whitwicky, Sergeant First Class, United States Marines, serial number... Enough! You will cooperate or cease to exist! Meanwhile, Sparkplug Whitwicky's son, Buster, surveys the aftermath of the battle, which culminated with his father's abduction. Are you guys alright? We are in desperate need of fuel. The battle has taken its toll. I'm sorry, Buster. This is all my fault. Your father saved my life, and when Optimus Prime entrusted me to protect you and your father, I failed. No, Bumblebee. It is I, Optimus Prime, who must take full responsibility for failing to protect our human friends. As leader of the Autobots, 
The blame can fall on no one else. Look, I don't care whose fault it is. All I want is my father back. Alive. And I'm not sure if you guys are in any condition to help. Buster! Jesse! Oh! Buster, we saw everything! Oh, I'm so scared if anything was to happen to you. Where'd all these rejects from a George Lucas film come from? We must return to the Ark immediately to refuel. The Ark? It's not going to rain or anything. No, oh, it's their ship. Oh, I'm going with you. I haven't a chance of getting my father back without your help. Once refueled, you have my word that we will return your father to you. Don't look now, Buster, but here comes the neighborhood. Optimus, Prowl, Hound, and the other Autobots quickly transform into their vehicular modes. While the startled onlookers gasp in amazement. Wow! Hound, Sideswipe, you're both low in fuel. Ride with me. As you command, Optimus. Wait till Doc Ratchet sees he has to patch up Sideswipe again. Buster's risking his life to save his father. I always knew he was sensitive. I didn't realize he was so brave. Gee, I'd come along and help, but I don't think my folks would understand. Forget it. This is strictly a family matter. Before the eyes of the startled onlookers, the Autobots move out. Let's roll. I'm worried, oh. Do you think we'll ever see Buster again? Don't ever say that, Jesse. The speeding Autobot convoy doesn't go unnoticed on the highway. That kid and his friend must be looking for trouble. Why else would they pass me at 30 miles over the speed limit? This isn't the Indy 500. Pull over, kid. Gears responds. Get lost, two wheels. We're trying to save your world, and there's no stopping us now. Whoa, there's no one in there. Sarge always said, if you put in enough miles, you'll believe a car could talk. Mount St. Hilary, where for four million years since it first crashed on Earth, Carrying the Autobots and the Decepticons, the Ark has rested peacefully. Welcome back, Optimus. The repairs you requested on the Ark proceed well, but I discovered something in the computer's memory banks that I think you should... Later, Ratchet. Right now, we must deal with the crisis situation. Use what precious fuel we have left. To refuel, Cliff Jumper, Brawn, Sunstreaker, Wind Charger, Hound, Gears, and me. The Ark's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it before. It's constructed on such a huge scale that I'm beginning to feel very small and insignificant before it. Meanwhile, uh, I, I think I'm beginning to see your point, Megatron. I knew you would. You may turn off your eye beams, Mr. Big. Thanks, big guy. You will now devise a conversion process that will turn the primitive propellant you call gasoline into our special fuel, or you will die. Uh, no problem, but I'll need a sample of your fuel. You'll receive all you require. Rumble. Whatever you say, boss. These stooges will do whatever the big cheese tells them. Say we scrap it. Or, uh, that's enough. But I still need raw materials to work with and a lab to work in. Nothing is beyond the reach of Megatron, human. What do you require? Later, at the University of Oregon, the sound of incredibly heavy footsteps echo through the nearly deserted campus. Inside these hollowed halls of learning, the super strong Decepticon known as Soundwave removes a large piece of the chemistry department. This is what you've requested. Uh, hey, hey, come back here with that. I'd quit this job if I wasn't so close to retirement. And elsewhere. End of the line, big thing. Uh, that thing's wrecking the road, causing an earthquake. Got to tie this thing up. Nice and a need for star scream. They didn't say anything about this at the Driver's Training Institute. Yahoo! I'm getting to like it here. You did well, Rumble! Meanwhile, the Decepticons' rampaging ways have not gone unnoticed. In Washington, D.C. Well, at least, no injuries were reported in the robot raid on the Harrison nuclear power plant. 
We are unable at this time to prove that the Russians are controlling the robots, sir. In Moscow. They must be testing their Star Wars arsenal, comrade. In the flying headquarters of America's super spy organization, S.H.I.E.L.D. We gotta check out what's going on in Oregon, Nicholas. If that big green fire snorting lizard is loose again, I quit. In the office of the New York Daily Bugle's new editor in chief, Joe Robertson. Hope this assignment isn't too rough for Parker. I'm banking on his experience at shooting Spider Man in action to help him get exclusive photos of whatever walked off with that power plant. Better check to see if he made his plane on time. Dawn. And the Decepticon Fortress is surrounded by the Army and the news media. Ah, uh, rumors, rumors are flying that the strange shape-changing machines that attacked Oregon's Harrison nuclear power plant have taken refuge inside a bizarre structure you see behind me. Some even suspect that the fortress itself was constructed with equipment stolen from the Harrison plant. Eyewitness News has learned. As for the Bugles, Peter Parker. I'll never get any of these exclusives for Robbie this way. I've got to break away from this pack. Soon, in a nearby secluded spot, I'll have a much better chance at photographing whatever's in that fortress as Spider-Man. This costume's quite a time saver. All I have to do is think about changing, and it takes care of the rest. If only I could solve all my problems that easily. Inside the Decepticon Fortress. That's near it, Soundwave. And, and General McGregor of the United States Army. We come in peace and only wish to talk. Bah! Starscream can handle this petty annoyance. It's about time. I was wondering when the cavalry would show up. Within seconds, Starscream takes off with Skywarp and Thundercracker. The humans never learn! How many times must they be fired upon before realizing how vulnerable they are? Look out! They're hitting us with cluster bombs! Fire the anti-aircraft missiles! Blow that sucker out of the sky! Get our jets up there now! Let's see what happens when they can't hear their leader's commands! Arr! Thundercracker's deafening sonic boom stuns the soldiers. Then, Buzzsaw enters the fray. Primitive Earth vehicles are no match for me! His diamond-hard, micro-serrated, edged beak cleanly severs the jet fighter's wings. Slew leader's been hit! But I got one right in my sights! But before his missiles are fired... What? The target disappeared! Ha! Ah, the hunter is now the hunted! That brainless aircraft is no match for the teleporting talents of Skywarp! Now, he's right on top of me! My earthly form is fast and strong! But I am a Decepticon warrior! And my victims are entitled to see the true face of their destroyer! Mayday! Mayday! While below. What's this? Unless Detroit's training trucks to be quick change artist, I bet he's one of those robots returning to the nest. How did I get stuck with this scouting mission? What do I care about these pesky little creatures? I've always suspected that Optimus Prime had a perverse sense of humor. Hey, hold on, big boy. Or as that funny lady on TV says, can we talk? Look up in the sky. It's one of those monsters. And he's with Spider-Man. Then the bugle was right. He is one of the bad guys. Shoo, go away. You're endangering my mission. Well, we wouldn't want that to happen. Don't tell me. You want to take over the world. Am I right? Blasted idiot. I'm on your side. Then explain why your buddy is tossing that at us. What? They don't see the tank? Fortunately, Gears does. Despite his gruff facade, Gears reacts as any noble Autobot would when innocent lives are threatened. Got it! Keep those cameras rolling. This is great footage. Good catch. Creating a cushion of compressed air under his feet, Gears gently lands. Are you convinced now that we're both on the same team? Okay, so I put my foot in my mouth. What else is new? 
Would you believe there's a war going on? We, the Autobots, are fighting to stop the Decepticons from stripping your planet of all its precious fuel resources. Already, the Decepticons have captured a human to help them replenish their own dwindling fuel supply. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get to work! Not so fast! Optimus Prime must be informed! Who? Meanwhile... Pull back! We're totally outgunned! We don't have the hardware to stand up against those mechanical monsters! While at the Ark, Ratchet tries to console Buster. Wh wh what's going on? Why didn't Optimus take me along with the others? Optimus has good reason. I imagine not endangering your life again is one of them. Later, after extensive introductions and explanations, I've fought a size and weird characters in my career, Optimus, but this has to be a first. I am sure. Tales of your exploits would be interesting, Spider-Man, but... For now, can you inform your military to step aside and allow us to deal with the Decepticons? Trust me, they'll never buy it coming from me. But I've got a plan. And so... Come on, Rilf! Stop playing tricks! Donning the soldier's helmet, the web spinner drives Hound through the retreating front line, with the other Autobots following. In order to get through, everything depends on my timing. Pardon me, Sarge! The lieutenant gave me orders to return to the front line. Sure, go right ahead. Sometimes, the best plans are the simplest. Hey, Sarge, why are all those other cars following the jeep? Who cares? We're bugging out. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. The plan's working. We're past the first huddle. The recipe is to set fire. I'm going in with Spider-Man. As the Autobots transform, the army attacks again. Cliff Jumper, look out! Can't they see we're not attacking them? No, Braun, the spider human was right. They can't tell us apart from the Decepts, and we can't strike back. Speaking of whom. Ha! <laughs> the Earth creatures fire upon their would be saviors! Sunstreaker's shoulder mounted, laser guided, ground to air missile finds its target. You're not as fast as you thought, Skywarp. This proves that I'm Cybertron's greatest warrior. These stupid Earthbound Autobots are helpless before the power of Rumble. Can't keep my balance. Yes, again, you dirty little decep. Brawn's coming through. Bah! You're nothing but talk. Let my audience speak for me. Overcharged buffoon! You'll pay for striking my brother! Oh. The high-pitched grating sound produced by Frenzy severely disrupts the electrical flow within bronze circuits, knocking him out. The pain! Too much! We've got him on the run! Fear not, brother! I'll see that you are restored to fighting strength! Meanwhile, we're lucky gears. With the army and your buddies keeping them busy out front, they're not guarding the back door. Of course, this sheer drop is enough to discourage most visitors, even traveling salesmen, but not your friendly out-of-town Spider-Man. This human reminds me of Blue Street. They both seem to love the sound of their own voice. Do all humans have powers like yours? Not since I checked last. I'd feel really foolish if they did. What's that sound? Gears! Power's given out! I'm going to fall! Quick! Grab onto my web! Gotcha! You're too heavy! I don't know how long this line can hold you! And we'd best move fast! Right? Inside. So, human, have you completed your task? Y yeah, bullethead. I've done your dirty work for you. Take your stinking fuel and leave me alone! Be warned, human. Insolence from slaves whose value has ended is not tolerated by Megatron. Once we grab their prisoner, let's get out fast. I have no complaints with that. I didn't wish to be here in the first place. Inside. My senses detect an Autobot intruder entering through the rear of the fortress. Not even the weakest radio signal can evade sound wave. This place is big enough to hold a Super Bowl in. Where do we even begin to look? Hold it. Allow me. 
that takes care of Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Whoa, my spider sense is going wild. From the shadows leaps Ravage. Where did he come from? Thought I saw a pussycat. He's fast and almost as agile as I am. This game of cat and mouse isn't much fun for us mouse types. This human is unlike any I've seen before. Hey, don't you know it's be nice to Spider-Man week? You, you avoided my charge. But you can't avoid my fist. This will send you back to Shadowland. Good teamwork, Gears. Now let's hustle. They're trying to seal us in, and I didn't even bring my overnight bag. See you later, big brother. Not so fast. We're in this together, little one. How does it feel to us now, thank you, friend? Yow! Can't dodge these blasts forever. What do you know about friendship, Soundwave? I hear that even your fellow d can't stand you. Oh, oh. Your distractions were of great value. Soundwave is seldom so easily beaten. Glad I could help, but now we've reached a dead end. The only way out is the way we came in. Not necessarily. I bet you're lots of fun at parties, too. We've hit the jackpot. Don't worry, friend. We'll get you out of here. What? Didn't expect to see one of you guys again. Bazooka Joe's all tied up. Let's call a cab and split. Remind me to thank that masked fella. This is worse than I expected. We don't have a chance against Megatron. Spider-Man, hurry, we must. Who dares attempt to ensnare Megatron? No, it's too late. Uh-oh. Here, let Megatron help you escape. The human has served his purpose and is no longer required. They'll fall to their deaths. Sorry I can't stay in chat, but I really must be going. Hang on, I'll shoot a web to each of you. My webbing was barely able to hold gears before. Now with the added momentum of his fall, I don't. No! His web broke. Mission accomplished, Fred. There, there's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here. Soon. After the other Autobots have disengaged from their battle with the Decepticons on the other side of the mountain. That's the last piece. We've collected all that's left of him. How can you all be so cool and unfeeling? He died a hero. Don't you even have mechanical hearts? The humans don't understand our form of life is vastly different than theirs. But there is no time to explain it now. Later. Back at the Ark. Dad! Buster, I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. I was so scared. So was I, son. So was I. While above the happy reunion, this ship is literally out of this world. Even the Fantastic Four's brilliant leader, Reed Richards, would feel like a kid at his first science fair in here. I'm sorry about what happened to Gears, Optimus. Even the good guys die sometimes. Die? You mean, he's still alive? No, but neither is he what you would term dead. You lost me, OP. No matter. What's important is the valor you've shown today. You will always be an inspiration to our struggle. But this is our war, and I can ask no more of you, Spider-Man. That's fine, because I've got a plane to catch. If the rest of you are just as brave as Gears... Those Decepticons are in big trouble. Good luck. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Thanks. Soon. I've managed to revive him to minimum operating level. Incredible. He's trying to speak. Meg. Meg. Megatron got what he wanted from human. Dad, say it ain't so. Continue to next issue.